Tom, what is happening now? Well, it's been, was it three years? Four, 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 four. Four years. Four, four years. years. Yeah. Three and a half. Four years yeah. since the last time we actually got together in California. No. Okay, nothing's changed. <laughs> Only this time we really squat. Okay? Really squat. Uh, I want you to... You don't know how many people ask me if my, if my legs uh, improved after we trained together. Really? Yeah, many people. Still asking today. Yeah. I want you to do what you normally do. I'll critique a little bit, maybe make a few adjustments. Mm -hmm. When it comes time for that one set, you know, when you think you're done, totally done, you have at least five more, five more reps, okay? We'll go there. We'll go there. Okay. Huge. Yeah. Do you know that? I, uh... I used to do the squats, like uh, ass to the grass. I think that's what I did last time. And you said the, like the the piston mm -hmm. in the cylinder. Okay. And now I did. I didn't do squats for a while. I used more machines, leg press. It's must be from I have to do it all over again. So what what would you say is the most important most important part about the leg training? Well. Everyone nowadays, the first thing they do in squats is they lean forward. The nose comes this way. The nose should go this way. This way. Like you're jumping in water, not diving. Okay? You're not diving, you're jumping in water this way. It's the most important thing. Everybody starts wrong, starts incorrectly. I made one suggestion to David just now. Within seconds, he made the adjustment. I'm impressed right now. That's fantastic. But the majority, and uh, for lack of a better word, the squat has been bastardized. The technique has been bastardized to make it about hip flexors, lower back. I want the quads to be the prime mover. Even if you use less weight, I don't care if you use the bar, use your quads. That's what people forgot about. Okay? When you did squats, you, um, you try to not train the, the glutes right intentionally right because when you when you see uh, side shots from your legs they look even bigger because your uh, your glutes are smaller right yeah exactly <clears throat> you know the glutes will be developed they will take actions an action part of the muscle part of the movement but nowadays everyone leans forward and does a thrust mm -hmm. they're using their glutes and their hips and their lower back too much lower back flexion and they're pushing the bar this way. Yeah. You can use more weight. You can push more weight sideways than you can straight up and down. Yeah, I but always did that. Yeah, yeah. So everybody does. Deshalb habe ich so starke Rückenstrecker. Deswegen? Und so schlechte Beine. Deshalb habe ich so dicke Rückenstrecker hier. Good lower back. <laughs> yeah. If you're a power lifter, great idea. Yeah, yeah. If you're a power lifter, it's beautiful. But if you're a bodybuilder, on the physique stage, forget about the weight. Squat pure. Pure, 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 like you just did. Okay? That's the answer. That's the secret that people don't realize. Okay. Ich mach noch eine ohne Scheibe. Good. I like it. Three, four, five, one, two. Three, four, five, good. Good joints, ankles, hips. For four yards, almost. Well, most modern, you know, it used to be in the 70s, people lacked ankle flexibility. I mean, plantar flexion and dorsiflexion, people were messed up here. Mm -hmm. That, you know, they didn't squat. So I had to, I had to work on that. Nowadays, everybody is messed up here mm -hmm. because they choose the machines before the free bar squat, okay? So they have no flexibility here, and as a result, they have to squat sideways. They have to use their butt and their lower back. The secret or the mentality should be forget the machines when you first start. Do the squat. It's the hardest thing in the world to do the squat. This is balance and control and it's scary, but that's why it's so effective. Okay. The hardest things are usually the best. If it's easy, leave it to somebody else. Okay. If if there's a risk involved in an exercise, and there is, you're out here in the open wind and you could fall. If there's a risk associated with a movement, it's a good exercise. If there's minimal risk, 
Why do it? It's probably a bullshit exercise, okay? Okay. Alright. Da habt das. Oh, jetzt werden immer mehr Zuschauer hier. Was ich will mit haben? Oh, das war's schon. Nothing high. Okay. Yeah. You want to. Are you married? Um, almost. Okay. You know when you first met your girlfriend? Yeah. You didn't just walk up to her and say, hey, honey, let's go, let's go to bed, right? It was sort of a courting process. Same with squats. It's sort of like you get to know it, sort of get to feel familiar with it. You own the space, you feel it's yours, and then you progress to the next phase of your relationship. You don't walk in and just. The squat is not something you just do a few of these and do something else. This is a religion, this is a, the altar, uh, which I said before, but this is, it's like courting a girl. You s gradually get to know her. You gradually get comfortable with the bar on your back, and now you get married the final set, okay? The final set is the one and only, the only one set? I don't count the, the one, I don't count anything other than probably the final set and the next set. Mm -hmm. We're going to count two sets today, mm -hmm. which will count. We won't count the, the ones going up. So what's your, your opinion on uh, overtraining? Because nowadays, I, I always say when I give seminars, most, more, there are more people suffering from undertraining than suffering from overtraining. So what, what's your, your opinion? Uh, definitely, you know, overtraining. Most people don't need to train as much as they do. Mm -hmm. If you train easy and exercise, If you exercise, you need to train more often. Yeah. If you're really training, really pushing the gas all the way down, if you're really intense with your training, the nervous system stress, the muscles. I trained wakes, I train legs every two weeks at my best. Mm -hmm. Squatting twice a month, that was the most I could do and grow. Mm -hmm. Okay? P people who squat every day, every week, twice a week, No wonder they can't grow. But that was probably an, an intensity most people can't even imagine, right? Exactly. Here you go. I like it, Dave. <coughs> That thing, if you could squat that well in those shoes, you're flexible. Mm -hmm. If you could squat that well in those shoes, you're very flexible. I could never squat in those. No. I mean, I could, I could, but it it almost makes you want to use your butt and lower mm -hmm. back. Let me show you my, my shoes. Last time we talked about shoes. And the This, people loved it. But you didn't uh, have your own last it time. I didn't huh? have my own signature shoe. I actually have it signed right there. This is my shoe. I copied the shoes that I used when I was a boy. I had the wood, so wood is very important. The wood gives you more power. Power is force times distance over time. More power, more speed of the movement. I wish I had the wood like this back in, in my day. But the weightlifters talked me into this. In fact, the more I argued with them, the more I realized they were right. <laughs> they were right about the wood. There's a reason Olympic lit weightlifters and world-class weightlifters are good. It's because of the wood. The high ankle, the high ankle support is fantastic. But most importantly for guys like you, you the tall as you are, you need the shoe to push you a little bit forward. Um, you don't even need it, you're so flexible. You're an athlete. Most guys who squat need a shoe to put them into position. Yeah. You're able to get there without much effort. But a shoe like this is, is very important. Still have to try that. I wish, I, I wish these were your size. <laughs> these are your size, you could put them on. A little small. There's a reason they're green too, you know? Think about green. People go, oh, I can't wear green shoes. It's Incredible Hulk's green. Mopar green. Everything's high horsepower is green. So are my shoes. And okay. in Germany we say, grün ist die Hoffnung. It means like, uh, green is, uh, the hope is green. Yeah. Is green. Everything's like, green. Yeah. Everything's green. Yeah. Green is power. Green is horsepower. Green is go. Okay? And that's why they're green. Da hört man... Ah! Hab ich auf Kamera. Na, schau jetzt. <lacht> genau, das falsche Moment. Also, da, da hört man doch als Profi auch gerne zu, oder? Wenn der Ton ja, eine Stunde gibt. Ich habe gestern schon zugeschaut, drei Stunden. Also nur zugeschaut, nicht trainiert, weil ich ja heute trainiere. Aber schon sehr interessant, was er sagt. Ja. Und eben als Profi hat man ja die eine oder andere Situation auch schon gehabt. Und ist, ist, ist interessant, sehr interessant, ja. 
von wegen gerade eben Übertraining und solches Zeug, wo jeder sagt heutzutage, du darfst nicht mehr als eineinhalb Stunden trainieren oder so. Bullshit. Ja, gibt noch Qualität. Good. Good. Just make sure you use your legs. The prime mover is your quadriceps. Uh -huh. Good. Four. Yeah. Get you. What I tell these guys last night, and this is my, I have two more seminars tomorrow, two more squat clinics tomorrow. You, have, you do it, you do it naturally, you're a seasoned professional. Most guys don't own the space. You know, they're like, oh, I'll just, I'll rent the space. Uh, I'll do a few reps and I'll do some leg extensions, some leg curls. You own this place. So the first thing I usually have my guys do when they put on the shoes, I have them address the squat rack, I have them address the squat rack, look at the squat rack, and claim ownership. I own this place. This squat rack is mine. Nobody's gonna tell me when to go or when to stop but me. In fact, I'm gonna go further than I ever went before. You own this place. You have to. You do this. You do it naturally. I do that sometimes. Yeah. You told me to do it. Did I? But, um, you know, I have some, some rituals, like, yeah, yeah. when it's get, getting heavier, I, I uh, tighten. tighten my shoes, pull up my socks, leg, my leg training socks. Passt denn perfekt heute? Ja, Zufall, ne? Ja. Und Zufall, dass ich die halt anhabe. Jetzt muss ich hier äh, äh, Werbung einblenden, so eine Dauerwerbesendung. Wachsen müssen wachsen. These are David's special uh, leg training leg leg socks and it means like the legs have to grow. It's actually from Albert. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah he said that to me after the Olympia uh, amateur in, in Prague. But see, those rituals are very important. Yeah. I mean, most bodybuilders don't realize how important the ritual is. It's preparation, even the celebration afterwards is a ritual. Mm -hmm. People forget to celebrate, they forget to prepare. They just do it and wonder what happened. They're like waiting for something to happen, it never happens. You've got to will it to happen, but the rituals put you in place. Yeah. That's why religious people, they're religious, which we are, okay, have rituals. It puts you in that frame of mind, that spirit, okay? Very, very important, very important. Okay. You know, I like this weight, even nowadays, it's a good weight for me to do 15 or 20 reps. Mm -hmm. uh, just get five at a time. Five reps is manageable. So if you get five good reps, you can manage five reps. I can't manage 20, 30, 40 reps. I can't, it's, too, it's like I have a nervous breakdown. Mm -hmm. I can manage five. So I just want you to do five. <laughs> Another five without stopping the set. Another five without stopping the set. Then we'll go from there. Okay. Okay? Ich sag einfach okay. Bleibt ja heute auch nichts anderes übrig jetzt. Matze hat mir übrigens erst äh, vor drei oder vier Tagen gesagt, dass wir hier hinfahren. Sonst hätte ich äh, die letzten Wochen mal abends Kniebeugen gemacht. Letztes letzte Mal Kniebeugen habe ich schon von dir gemacht. Ja? Ja. Was hast du getan? Ja. Das ist ja ein Jahr her. An Maschinen rumgehampelt. Ja. Ja. Might need you. Good, good. Legs, prime mover, quadriceps, prime mover, two. Drive! Drive! There's five! Six. Seven. Come on, David. Eight. Come on, give me two more for ten. One. One more for ten. Ten! Five more, five more. One. 
Give me four more. Two. Three more. One. Try. Two more. Come on. Get serious. One more. Fifteen. Everything. Try. Okay, now five more. Five more. Make twenty. We're gonna help you. We're gonna help you. Five more. You can do it. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Okay. One more. One more. Okay. All right. One more. Stay close, Adam. Get close. Right up. Now, baby reps. Give me baby reps. Right now, without walking, just do baby reps. Little baby reps. Baby reps. One. Yeah, just stay there, Adam. Little baby reps. Yes. Keep doing baby reps. Fry your legs. Fry your quadriceps. Come on. Come on. Baby reps. Okay, now get back in there. Excellent, excellent, excellent. That's what I'm talking about. Nothing left, nothing left. Not bad for your first set. Take a rest. David didn't squat for one year, so this is something what he should not do again, right? We shouldn't do it again. That's why you should. Nothing, nothing's like squats. I mean, it's like nothing compares to squats. You can do leg presses, but why? Why do an inferior movement? Why do a movement that looks good, but it produces hardly any results? I don't care how much weight you can use. I'd rather do like you did, three good plates, get in 15, 20 good reps, and reap the benefit. I mean, there's a reason people don't squat. It's hard, it's hard. People don't want what's hard, they want what's easy, what looks showy. Forget about it. In fact, forget about the weight, just squat correctly like you just did. That is the secret, absolutely. One of my favorite things to do, one of the things I love about squatting is when you do a set like that, go down in weight and do a nice lightweight. It's like, it's like, it's like, it feels like butter. It's like a butter set, okay? Let's just take one plate off. It's a butter set. I want you to rest first though. Pardon? I, don't, I want you to rest first. Don't rush into this set. I want you to take an adequate rest. Don't be afraid to rest, okay? Und nicht nur natürlich gerade erst erfahren, dass man überhaupt nicht hinfahren und Training hat es ja auch gerade erst äh, <lacht> rausgestellt. Ne? Hat man jetzt auch nicht geplant. Ja, gibt es noch für Ausreden. Früher aufgestanden heute als sonst. Ich habe natürlich gestern Beine trainiert. Ich mag diese kleinen Baby-Reps. 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 Ich mag fall into the rack. I couldn't walk back to the rack, it was so good. It's, it's, it's just beautiful. It's like getting a towel and having water in the towel, having a wet towel. And you keep getting all the drops out. And that last couple of reps is like, one more drop, one more rep. Ah, that's it, the set's over. And that's what you gotta do. Yeah, yeah. Most guys can't do that. They don't have the mentality for that. You do, you do. I'm a bit of shit, because the rack is pretty broad. Und äh, man hat wenig Spielraum hier zum Einhängen. Krasser Hilfe. Adam ist er da. Hm? Du hast da zu hm? Wie hat er sich geschlagen bisher? Ja gut, keine Ahnung, ich habe noch nie mit dem Tom trainiert. Das ist natürlich heftig. Warum, machst du, warum trainierst du denn eigentlich nicht mit dem Tom? Kannst du morgen noch machen? Ja, ich wusste es ja nicht. Nee, ich habe ja heute Beine trainiert. Ah, okay. Ich wusste es erst zu spät, dass er kommt. Und Weber hatte einen Termin mit einem, wo lange weit gefahren ist auf heute und wusste es spät, das ist eigentlich in zwei Wochen alt. Und ich bin sowieso erst am Beginn von meinem Aufbau, oder? Hat ja ein Problem mit dem Außenband auf Diät und das muss ich jetzt nicht aus ausfordern. Am liebsten würde ich gleich mitmachen mit David, aber ich muss jetzt wirklich nicht ausfordern. Ich habe ja jetzt vor einer halben Stunde mein Beintraining gemacht, fertig. So, can you maybe give me your definition of luck? We had this, uh, this was a very interesting point at the seminar. Luck is when preparation meets opportunity. 
Most of us prepared for years, 10, 20 years for one night where oppor preparation met opportunity. That's winning. And having the same mentality, the same energy, the same passion and love for what you're doing years later. That's what it takes. That's commitment. That's really what bodybuilding is all about. Most people want it instant. They want instant Facebook, instant messenger. They want uh, Instagram. They don't want results. If you want results, it's going to take hard work for years. And that's the answer. I was telling Dave, he said, before, when, the, when you're getting ready for a show and doing squats, go before you're ready. Do the next set before you're ready. Off season, don't go before you're ready. Wait till you're t fully rested between sets. There's a lot of scientific reasons we can talk about later. But just be really rested so those reps feel like, like butter. It's, I love putting on 100 pounds less or 50 kilos less. It's like, people are like, like this is easy. It's like, it's like victory lap, you know? That's what we're doing now, a victory lap. For uh, repetitions, you go higher for for legs. I mean, in general, you do more reps for legs. I haven't squatted in so many years, yeah. Reps are more important. Reps are where the gold is, okay? Most people do a lot of heavy weights. If their form is, is really good, they still have small legs. I trained with some of the best squatters in the world. Fred Hatfield had tiny little legs. Mm -hmm. He squatted a thousand pounds. I never touched the thousand. Took off the rack once, almost killed me. But I squatted usually between five and 700 pounds and had great results. But the, th the secret, the secret really is doing the heavy weights for high reps. Mm -hmm. And doing the days We also have the lower reps, but the even heavier weights. Mm -hmm. That's the secret. Most people think it's all about the heavy weights. It's not. The weight doesn't matter. If, if your form and technique is pure, size and strength will follow. Mm -hmm. Easy. Nice. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Perfect. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, next five. One, twelve, thirteen. Two more fifteen. Two more for fifteen. Dig. Yes. One more for fifteen. You have to have it. Dig! Yeah. Ah. Now, five ah. more. Five more. Say yes. Stay close, Adam. Dig! Ah. Four reps left. Four reps. Come on, Dig. Ah. Great. Three ah. reps left. Three reps. Dig! Ah. Two reps left. One. Ah. Yeah. Uh, One more rep left. Uh, One more rep. Uh, Drive. Uh, Half ones now. Half ones. Uh, Come on. Uh, Two. Uh, Make it three. Uh, Make it three. Come on. Okay. Okay. Uh, All right. Good effort. Good effort. <laughs> It's about 95%. You had 5% left, you did. Okay? See, what do you do? He says you were right. Wiederhole nochmal. Ja, stimmt. Da war noch ein bisschen Kraft. Vom Schmerz ging es auch noch. Aber dieses Zittern wird so stark, dass man einfach Angst bekommt. I was afraid. Falling down. Okay. I can't tell you how many times I dropped the weight on the floor. Dropped the weight and just tossed it off my back. Fell down. Got up again and continued the set. You got to be willing to fail. If you can't fail, what I learned in the gym is you got to go out there and fail. You got to go out there and fall down. 
most people who have won big have failed big. Okay? You know, see, even you know. Yeah. And what I promised myself as a little boy, I said, I can never leave the gym knowing I have 5% left. That 5% is magic. That's the magic place where very few people go. You can go there. I'm giving you permission to go there. We have people behind you. If you fall down and drop the weight on the floor, who cares? Who cares? But if you make it, I care. I want that. I want you to fail and I want you to get up and do it again. The same thing in life is the same thing here. If you can do this, you can do anything, anything. Right now you're 5% away. 5% away from being a champion. Okay, let's go. Wenn das nicht motiviert, weiß ich aber auch nicht. Das motiviert halt vor allem, wenn du zu Hause sitzt und dir das auf dem Laptop anguckst. Wenn du drin steckst, sieht es ein bisschen anders aus. Aber dafür ist es eine Erfahrung, die man keiner mehr nehmen kann. Das ist ja schon was. Äh, genau. Ich glaube, so, das ist schon was, wird doch, glaube ich, jeder mhm. gerne machen und ja. äh, erleben. Ne? Ich hoffe, komm auch mal in die Gelegenheit. Ja, ja bestimmt. Kommt, kommt bestimmt nochmal wieder. <lacht> Dann sagst du mir aber Bescheid. <lacht> you, really, you, you have a, a cadence and a style. It's very different from my own style. You're an ectomorph. You're a high endurance rep kind of guy and you do fast reps. You know? If I work with you over time, I'd have you do slower reps mm -hmm. on this. Not everything, but on this. Mm -hmm. Slow one rep at a time versus five at a time. Mm -hmm. You're doing five at a time, but it's one continuous set almost. I'm looking for you to rest between each okay. rep. Um, you can handle a lot more work than I was able to. A guy like yourself on ectomorph, more red fiber, can handle more sets, more volume, and more frequency. I get it. I have to cater what I'm thinking. I can't have you train like me. It's got to be like you. Mm -hmm. So everything I would not do, I'm going to have you do. Mm -hmm. Everything I would not do, I want you to do. Let's do one more set. Dave's last 5% is crucial that he gets there. What I say to people where David is right now is go out there and fail. Go out there and fail miserably, miserably, miserably. I can't even say the word, miserably. Drop the weight on the ground, toss the weight, but achieve failure. Achieve failure. If you can do that, you can also win. If you can fail, you can also win. And all winners have failed. That's the goal here today, that last 5%. All right. Drive. Yeah, keep using your legs. Keep using your legs. Two. Three. Four. Five. Better rest. Okay, here's five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Beautiful, David. Come on. There's ten. Yeah. Keep going, come on. Now, come on, uh, lightweight, lightweight, come on. Uh, you got two more for 15. Did! One more for 15. All right, now, now, uh, five more, go for it, go for it, go for it. Come on, Dave. One. Drive! Excellent, excellent, great job. Yes, say yes. Two! Yes! Three more uh. for 20. Three more. Drive! Uh. I'm strong, you're getting stronger. Come on! Stronger! Uh. One more for 20. Uh. Come on! Yes. Dig! Dig! Uh. Oh, you're strong. You got two more in you. You got two more in you. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Dig! Dig! No. One more like that. Uh. One more. One more. One more. Come on. Train! Uh. Oh, you're getting stronger, uh. David. Come on. Give me three. Give me three like that. Make 25. You can do it. You can do it. Come on! 
Oh, you're getting stronger. Two more. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Congratulations. Uh, you achieved failure. Failure has been achieved, thank God. Now, the only place to go from failure is to win. You have to achieve failure. You have to take it that far. Nobody wants to go that far, it's too scary. But you know something, I got news for you. That's where winning is. It always has been. Nothing's changed since the 70s. Nothing! Except people train not as hard. Jetzt kannst du noch aufwärts gehen. Ja? Beautiful feeling. I feel like somebody stabbing knives in you. I'm here laying on the floor going, I feel like somebody was stabbing knives in my quads. I used to lay there, put the towel over my face. My training partner was saying, people were think people thought I was dying. Well, no, he's okay, don't worry about him. After about 10 minutes, one more set, okay? But you're doing great. You're doing great. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. If you can do this, it can happen. I think I, I kind of lost the, uh, lost that uh, ability to go to 100%. You know, I, I feel when I was younger, like when I was 20, yeah. I didn't think that much, and it was easier for me to go to maybe 99%. And now you have all those, at least I do, I have all those doubts in my head sometimes doing leg training. So, and too many other things. I get it, I get it. You know, you know too much now. Yeah. When you know too much, it's like a child. A child will do anything. A child will <coughs> skateboard off of crazy heights and do crazy stuff and do flips, you know? When you get older, you go, oh God, I could get hurt. Yeah. So you start limiting yourself how far you want to go but you know you, you have to go through this time where you don't go to failure you, know, you get out of shape so to speak you're not out of shape but you because the only way to get in shape is to get out of shape the only way to go to failure is not go to failure and you know the difference most big guys like yourself have a problem going to failure I'm shocked it's like most guys don't have the wind 15, 20 reps is like, oh my God. To me, that's like half a set. I mean, I'm doing 50s all the time. It was crazy, but uh, you know, I wasn't good at reps. I trained for reps, but the reps is key. Reps is a secret, but that failure, that last rep where you think, you know, eventually you'll know. Like I know even today, even last month when I was squatting back in LA, I know I don't have, I know I don't have one more rep. I know there's nothing left, but I'm willing to take it to that far to where it's like, Okay. I can make it back to the rack, maybe. Okay? And that's where I want you to go. Okay. Good. 35 years ago, when I did a seminar at this gym, the David Gym in Switzerland, we use, I used the David leg extension machine. 35 years ago, there's a picture in Kathy's office of me doing this exercise. We're going to use that today. Because pretty soon this machine's going to leave. It shouldn't, but it's going to leave. And this is our last chance to really drive the old car. It's like driving a 55 Chevy or a 68 Camaro. This is where it all happens. This is the truth of training, you know? It's a beautiful machine. I love the old stuff. Oh. Can, you walk in? How, can you walk right now? Walk? Yeah. Yeah? It's not hard to walk. If you bend, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you something. If you went between these two machines right now, and if you went like this, can you do that? Mm -hmm. yeah, it's right stretching. Now, yeah. How does it, is it hard to do right now after it's walked? Mama. Right. Like this? Is, is it hard to get up? Uh, to get up? <laughs> Impossible. <laughs> okay, good, good. Okay, just to check, I'm just checking. That's right. how it should be, right? It should be. Yeah, when you can't walk to the car, you haven't done enough. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but basically, you know, when I, when I was totally disabled, I'd get my, I'd walk through the car, get in my old Corvette, and the steering wheel was real big in the old Corvettes, you know? I could barely fit my legs underneath the steering wheel, but I could drive home. But I knew if I could barely make it to the car, that was a clue that we probably did enough. 
If you could, if you could dance to the car, get back in there. Yeah. You know? But your your body type is very different. You can do a lot of endurance, but that doesn't mean you can't grow. Obviously, okay. But this machine is our last opportunity to use the old, one of the vintage machines that where it all started. I'm looking forward to this. Well, fine. Was kann man machen? Er kann sich noch anschnallen. Meinst du, das hilft ihm noch jetzt? Oder das rettet ihn noch? Ja, dann fliegt er nicht aus dem Sessel. Ist ja, der erste, erste mal, Satz. Das ich, schon mal was Gutes auf Ich glaube, er hat noch Böses vor wie Dieb. <lacht> ich habe nach langem auch mal wieder diesen Blutgeschmack im Mund. Kennst du den? Klar, habe ich bei jedem Training. 30 Kilograms. It's around 15 Pounds. And now it's 10 Pounds more. Okay. Ja, jetzt sind ja 30 Kilo mehr. Okay. It's it's just a double thing. No, double. Double, I don't care. <laughs> it doesn't have to be pretty. I don't care about pretty. I don't care about perfect movement. Just move it. Any way you can move it. Like momentum? Yeah, move okay. momentum. Pure, brute, brute, stupid movement. Whatever you got to do. I want you to just get it up. Mm -hmm. Okay? It's not about being pretty and strict. It's about being outright reckless abandonment. Like, I don't care, you know? I don't care about anything. That's the attitude you want now. I don't care. I don't care about my headache. Forget that. You are all you are. The quadricep is what you are. You are quadriceps. And you're addicted. You're addicted to quadricep tension. In your life, forget about your life. Nothing else matters. All you want is more contraction here. You live for this moment. It's not going to be forever. It's for now. If you don't live for this moment, go get another job. Okay? <laughs> this is your job. Just thought. Excellent. Ah. Strong. Come on. Keep going. Three. Strong man. Very strong. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Give me ten more. Uh. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, come on, eight, nine, ten, five more. One, two, three, four, all the way up, all the way up. Come on, show me, bring it up, bring it up, up higher. Hold it there now. Baby reps, baby reps. Hold it, find the tension. Now fight me, kick me in the face, get mad at me, kill me, come on. One more rep, one more rep, go. Try it again. Ah. Okay, you all the way up, all the way up. Hold it there. Ah. Hold it there. Put tension here. Put tension there. Ah. Now fight me. Fight me harder. Ah. Harder. Harder. Ah. Harder. Come on, David. You're just ah. getting started now. Come on. Ah. Push. Push. Ah. Push. 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 Okay. Ah. That's one set. All right. But ganz ehrlich, das war jetzt so. Über den Schmerz raus. Jetzt ist eigentlich taub, ja. Just get it up and do partial move. Get any way. If you can do full movements, great. But just get it up. Use your hips. Whatever you got to do to keep tension here. Just make sure tension's here. Make sure the tension's in your quads. And it let me push down and you fight up. As long as you maintain tension here. Mm -hmm. Okay? Is so that, no full reps, just. If you can do the full reps, I want you to do it. Okay. If you can't, do it, do any kind of movement you can. A guy like you has meticulous reps. You're a perfect trainer. You train in perfect form. You train like Arnold used to. Beautiful. Okay? I mean that with total respect. Now I want you to do the opposite. I want you to go to failure like you have been. But I want you to cheat to add more stress to the muscle of intention. Most beginners who don't know how to, don't know how to train strict they cheat and they take muscle, they take pressure off the muscle of intention. The goal here now, our goal is to forget about training pretty. Just move the weight. Just move the weight, put that tension on the muscle and take it as far and as far and as far as you can just before the muscle, the tendon tears from the bone. I don't want to tear the tendon from the bone, but just before that happens, we stop your set. Okay? That's growth. Dass die Technikpolizei hört. Die soll mal schön die Schnauze halten, Jena. Oh, man! 3, 4, 5, 6, 
Seven. Eight. Come on. Nine. One more time. All the way up. Half breath. Like that. Come on. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Tension. Tension. Come on. Do not be a failure. Do not be a failure. Fail. Fail, but kill me! Come on, come on, come on, come on! Okay, one set, two sets, right? Ja, sonst schreie ich nie so. <lacht> dangerous as like, you know, it's called. Yeah, yeah, it's not as dangerous. It's a more controlled. Okay? I mean, and you're healthy enough to make it work. Okay? And I feel I wouldn't do this for everybody, mm. except people like you. That are serious, that are trained. You're trained. You're world-class guys, and you're willing to take the risk with more expect, more success being apparent. It's always success follows risk. Success follows risk. Right now, we're like looking for success up here, and the risk is like teasing. Mm. If, if the risk is ever too high, and the, the, the success is down here, forget about it. Mm -hmm. But the risk <laughs> follows. If the risk follows the opportunity. More opportunity, more risk. So you said you never liked uh, leg press, but you, you like squats obviously, and you like the leg extension. Uh, leg extension primarily before an event. Leg curls I liked. Um, hack squats I liked. Mm -hmm. But I found leg presses to be nice, a waste of time. Mm. Okay? I mean, it looked nice. You put a lot of plates on and move a lot of iron. Then now the, the inverted, leg press, the upside down, you know, the, the old leg press from the old days, which was completely upside down. I used it a little bit more for pictures than I did for training. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. not really for training. For training, squats, hack squats, this before contest. And you had, you had uh, very good hamstrings. It's leg you, curls. From the leg curls and, and the squats. Oh. And the squats. Mm. And my leg curls, my, my leg biceps grew from squats by doing the strict performance of it, the strict technique. Well, my leg biceps finally became a muscle that it was like probably your arms. Everything you do, your arms grow. Your biceps. I could do I could do seated cable rolls with my leg biceps. It's, it was weird, but I got to that point after a while. And you, you never did uh, deadlift? Yeah, I used to put 700 on and pull. I used to do 405 or 50 reps and stuff like that mm -hmm. at the end of a back workout. I remember doing back for an hour and a half. But not for the hamstrings. Uh, hamstrings were involved in that, but not for hamstrings. Mm -hmm. Back in the early 70s, I did stiff-legged deadlifts. After much back problems, I said, that's forget about mm -hmm. it. I think it's too risky. I think the stiff-legged deadlifts people do, too much risk. Mm -hmm. I, can, I can milk it out of leg curls for you. Mm -hmm. I can do stuff that's less risk, even better results. There's always the benefit to risk ratio. How much risk, how much benefit? You're always weighing those two things. No risk, why even work out? An exercise that doesn't have a risk, it's not worth doing. Okay? But let's do this next set. Okay, come on, you can do it. You can do it. Come on. Yes! 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 Come on. Two. Yeah! Three. Four. Come on, keep going. Five. Keep going! Keep going! Ah! Yes! Drive! Drive! What there? One more up. Half reps. Half reps. Come on. Save your reps. Save your reps. Keep the tension on the muscle. Keep the tension on the muscle. Keep the tension on the muscle. Give it to me now. Push me. Push me. One more rep. One more rep. Up. All the way up. All the way up. Put tension on the muscle. Tension on the quad. 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 Now. Good. All right. Now I have to push the Video, Guck mal, welchen Kameramann wir hier heute am Start haben, hör mal. Ja. Ja? Lukas äh, sattelt jetzt um, hinter ja. die Kamera, nicht mehr vor der Kamera. Ja, wenn ich das sehe, muss ich umsatteln, Richtig, das geht ne? nicht. Das ist nur muss, man da, muss man dahinter genießen, ne? Ja. Yeah. Uh, at the side, below the patella. And today nothing. No pain. No pain. You Maybe because the legs are more, but uh, I think uh, no, it's just better. Could I used to do leg press pretty heavy, yeah. and I got the, the problems. Eh? Could nichts weh heute. Could nichts weh heute? Nee, ich hab sonst 
Could you run if you had to? If you had a run, could you do it? Run? Could you run right now? Uh, I don't think so. If you could run, you're not training. Yeah. Okay? I, mean, I used to go out and try to run sprints after squatting reps. Yeah. Like slow motion. Yeah. It's like slow, like being on slow motion on the video, you know? All right, we'll do one more set. What I like to do, if we push, how do we do the, ev everything? Everything. That. 200. No. This, this is everything we got in this machine. Okay? You can do it. I'm going to help you do it. Okay. You can do it. Just take it. Make it work. Make it work for you. Okay? This David machine's going away. It's like a 55 Chevy. It's like a 68 Camaro. It's going away. <laughs> it's named David. This is the David. David machine. It's a sign. Okay? It's a sign. It's a clue. <laughs> Opportunity comes to you many times. Opportunity comes, you can either take it or remain scared of it. If you don't take it, it's going to knock on somebody else's door. And it's going to invite them to the adventure. You know? Either you take it or you don't. The more I work, the luckier I get, right? Luck is not something just happens. It's earned. Okay. In German we say, das Glück ist mit den Tisch What does that mean? It means uh, luck is uh, with uh, the, the busy yeah. people. Yes. That comes to those who are busy. But, but we also say, das Glück ist mit den Doofen. The luck is with the stupid people. <laughs> get it now. Ah, look what we have here. Yeah. This is the same equipment. Uh, this is the same legend, legendary, yeah. yeah. 35, 35 years. years ago. And this is the original one. It's like... Uh, same machine we're yeah. using. Yeah. Now. No. Also 35 Jahre, yeah. 2018. <lacht> <lacht> ja. Ja. Leider sieht es unter meiner Hose anders aus. Ein bisschen, ne? Äh, deine Beine sind, sind diese. Move the weight, just move the weight. Come on, you can move. Yes, come on. Show me, Show me again. Show me. All the way up. Keep going. Up. up. Come on. Up. Baby reps, baby reps. Up. Two, three, four, five. Come on, David. Move it more. Move it more. Don't let me do it. You help me. Help me. Come on. Hard. Harder. Harder. Keep going. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Push me. Push me. Push me. Now. Okay, good. Good job. Excellentes video, Freunde. I had a line in a movie one time. This movie, uh, in my last line, and I sat and I, I was standing up on the squat rack and I just finished a set. I looked down at the guy on the floor and I said, welcome to the pain zone. It's where we live, okay? It's true. 35 years ago, it was the same machine. Make that a t-shirt. Yeah, make that a t-shirt. Make that maybe, a t-shirt and sell it on Fever. Welcome to the pain okay. zone is where we live. But you know, It's about, in bodybuilding, you can't think about the money. You gotta think about the heart, the passion, the love, the commitment, and the energy you're willing to put into it that close to death, even willing to die to get it. When you give it that much, the side effect, the side effect is standing on stage and having the audience, having five or 10,000 people go, yes! I would train 25 more nights, 25 more years for one more night. Forget about the money, okay? But you know something? Money is a nice side effect to doing that. That's what every great sportman, sportman, every great athlete is able to entertain. The money doesn't come because of they were looking at the money. They come because they're looking at the, the goal of achieving something nobody else did. To boldly go where no one else dared to. That is bodybuilding. That's bodybuilding. That's where it always will be. That's what it always has been. And people forgot. Okay. Excellent job. Thank you, sir. You have more talent than I could ever dream of, okay? You have more talent than I could ever dream of. So what's lacking? That 5%. Hitting that 5% mark and going the distance every single time. The doors are opening up, they'll open up even more. Plastic physique is your destiny, I guarantee you. I'll be watching you. All right, David, good luck. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah, that was geil and alles, was er gesagt hat, stimmt. Ich weiß es auch eigentlich. Ähm, 
Aber äh, um, um, um nochmal den Bogen äh, zu kriegen, wenn man über 20 Jahre trainiert und ähm, die meiste Zeit eben auch alleine, beziehungsweise alleine im Sinne von, er hat es eben in seinem Seminar so schön erzählt, er kam ins Studio und da waren Dave Draper, äh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Robbie Robinson, also praktisch die ganze Olympiabühne, hat damals in einem Studio trainiert. Und da kann man sich vorstellen, wie da die Luft gebrannt hat in dem Studio. Und wenn man dann eben so alleine vor sich hin trainiert, die meiste Zeit und keinen, äh, keine echte, hört sich blöd an, aber eben keinen, keinen hat, der in den Arsch treten kann, der auch auf dem, irgendwie so auf dem gleichen Level unterwegs ist, dann äh, schläft man ein bisschen ein über die Jahre. Das letzte Mal, als ich hier war, habe ich mit Lukas trainiert. Das war auch äh, schon was anderes, als wenn ich alleine trainiere. Und das fehlt mir so ein bisschen. Und äh, ja, wenn man eben alleine ist, dann muss man sich das immer wieder selbst ins Gedächtnis rufen und klar machen, dass man äh, vielleicht hart trainiert, aber 95 Prozent oder 89 sind eben dann immer noch zu wenig. Heute war ich mal so knapp an den 100, würde ich sagen. Und dann ist noch die Kunst, das nicht nur einmal zu machen, wenn eine Kamera dabei ist, sondern wie ich immer sage, das immer zu machen, auch wenn man alleine ist. Äh, heute ist äh, Samstagabend, ne? ja. Samstagabend ähm, alleine im Studio zu stehen, wenn keiner zuguckt und das trotzdem durchzuziehen und das über die Zeit. Und das, äh, für alle, die sich fragen, was macht den Unterschied zwischen äh, einem Bodybuilder und einem Champion, das ist genau der Unterschied. If you don't take that last 5%, it's a little knock on somebody else's door, I guarantee you. There's only a certain window of opportunity for success. This is your opportunity of a lifetime. Take the 5%. Go the 5% distance. It's gonna be scary as all head, it will drive you to the ground, you'll fail a few times, you'll fall on your face. Get up, keep getting up, keep getting up. And if you don't, you have to be happy for the rest of your life. If you don't take the last 5%, you have to be happy the rest of your life knowing it went to somebody else's door and knocked on door, their door and you could have been that guy. It's up to you. <laughs>